Welcome to my new... No, I'm just kidding. This is a VST tutorial video. It's finally freaking here. Some of you guys asked me last year and I'm so sorry that it took this long to deliver the final product to you guys. But nonetheless, it's here and I'm finally able to share my complete tutorial how to use your digital piano like a MIDI controller and actually use VST super quick and super easy. Before we start, if you're interested in my photography, please check them out. My website and my Instagram, JYJ Photography, easy to remember, so please check them out. Nonetheless, let's begin with the intro and begin with the tutorial. Let's go! So, what exactly is VST? So, VST is Virtual Studio Technology and it works just as it sounds like. It turns your home studio into someone else's studio that has better instruments that you can possibly imagine. In a way. So, today, with this tutorial, we're going to turn this digital piano into a concert level Steinway Grand Piano. Yes. You heard it, you heard me right. Steinway Grand Piano from this digital piano. So how do we do that? Uh, there are five things we need. Number one, we need software. Uh, we're going to use Contact because number one, it's free. Number two, it's industry standard. And number three, the user interface is not really easy. And actually, most of the VSTs are hosted by Contact. So we're going to use Contact for the R software. Number two, we need audio sample. So this is the one that's gonna actually cost you quite a bit, depending on whatever you're getting. Uh, for me, I would choose the Grandeur if you're first VST buyer because it just works great with any kind of songs you play. So if you're playing classics or something mellow, something bright, doesn't matter what you play, Grandeur will replicate your style to its best ability because whatever the sound sampling they've done, it's really neutral. It's not too heavy towards classic or too heavy towards jazz. No, it's very neutral in the middle. So I don't think you'll run issue with that VST at all. So that being said, you need sound sample. Number three, you obviously need an input, in this case, digital piano. Uh, make sure it's one with the USB because this tutorial is going to cover a digital piano that has USB connection. Most modern digital pianos should have. If not, I'm really not sure what to say because I haven't really studied that far. Sorry guys. So, number four, you need computer to host your software. Uh, me, I use my laptop right next to the piano on the ground and plug it in and play as I go. And lastly, Obviously, you need USB cable. Amazon has it for $5, 6 depending on the length. Uh, you choose your favorite one. If you have to run it to your desktop, you might need a 16 feet one, but I was pretty good with my 6 feet cable. So, that being said, check that out if you don't have any. And let's begin actually turning this piano into a grand piano. So, I'm gonna change the camera to my laptop. And let's begin. So we're at my laptop. Uh, don't worry about if you're using Windows because Mac and Windows, the contact software themselves, should be very, very similar. Maybe a button placement on the settings up here and the menu bar up here, but other than that, it should be basically the same. So when you first open up your contact fresh, this is something you should be seeing. Uh, I'm not sure if you're gonna see the keyboard, but if you don't like it, you can disable it on the option up here. If you like it, you can enable it. I personally like it, so to double check, my keys pressing are matching with the keys being recorded on the computer. So when you first load your VST, you're gonna add it through Add Library. Choose your VST. All my VST files are under here, Native Instruments on the desktop, just because I like to see them. And press Open. And it's gonna ask you for a p password for Max, and I'm gonna enter my password. Press OK, and boom. And that's about it. And if you press instruments, the grandeur.nki, 
and you're basically loaded and you're basically good to go. You can actually start playing now because look at here, when I press the keys, nothing is being played. It's because I haven't really set the MIDI, the USB cable for the input. So as you can see, you see the MIDI right here, it says MIDI channel A-1 which has nothing in it. To set this, you go to Optic Contact, Preference, and you see, since my USB is already plugged in, you see the Casio USB MIDI status is off. You change that to port A, and you close it. And now, once you go back to this, see port A, number one, it should be automatically set. And now, once you play it, you see it being played. And that's basically about it. If you're not able to hearing any sound, go back to contact, preference, and your output, um, and audio. Make sure this is whatever you're listening to. Me, I'm just using my laptop's built-in speaker, so I just use built-in. If you have headphone or other external sound devices, this is where you find it to listen. So, now let's actually play a little. As we're coming to the end of the video, I hope you guys are a lot more comfortable using your digital piano, plug into your computer, and run VST, and have that grand piano experience. And this video is just about that because I didn't want to add MIDI controller involved and confuse a lot of people out because some people actually only want to play VST just to have a better sound quality but also some wants to learn how to use that and actually record their, themselves. So that's gonna be a whole new video. It's coming out in the next week or two, uh, very soon, so not to worry about. Also, I'm doing a review on this piano, so anyone who guessed it right for the first time, I'm going to do a little shout out. So take a guess what piano this is. Um, model number is right behind me. I'm going to reveal it during the actual piano review. So. That's coming soon. Lots of content's coming. Piano covers are being worked on. I'm practicing a lot of songs and it should be coming up fairly soon in the upcoming months or two. So, that being said, don't forget to subscribe and like. Don't forget to check out my photography websites on my Instagram, jyjphotography.com or jyjphotography on my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and all that good stuff. So, Thank you guys for visiting and stopping by and watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.